Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're gonna do this Halloween. I got this inspiration off of Pinterest, so I kinda wanted to recreate my own style and own look for it. I think it came out pretty awesome. New, no. how I got this crazy skeleton brain look. Just stay tuned. Okay, so right now we're just going to pin our hair because we don't want that to get in our face. And you would also want to do this with a shirt that you don't care about. Um, we'll just swing it because I don't feel like changing. I'm being lazy. So the first thing I want to do is uh, put a base on my face because my face is going to be intact with a lot of crazy hot mess. I'm gonna use the Hey Honey 24 7 moisturizing cream. I'm gonna put a lotion on my face because again we are doing a lot to our face so you always want to start your face with a base. Um, I wanted to actually film my other Halloween one, but I still gotta buy some stuff for that, so that's gonna be my second one. So the first one, obviously, is this look. So I hope you guys are not mad. I'm gonna grab the white face paint, and I'm just going, honestly, I'd never even practiced this. I'm just gonna wing it, but yeah, you guys feel me. So I'm just gonna grab some white paint, and I'm just going to make this all white. And this is from Party City. You can go to Party City, a spirit store. You get this stuff off Amazon, to be honest. So I'm just mapping out where I want my face to start. So it's here. paint we want to set it so it doesn't move as you can see it's very slippery but I'm using this wedge right here because it's giving me a straight edge any powder you have I'm using this elf one because this is like the whitest one I have I'm just going to pat this on This is just going to set it. You can also use a lighter foundation for this. Since I don't have a lighter foundation, I'm just basically using what I have at home. This is like a last minute costume idea and you have nothing to do. Um, you just got out of work and your friends invited you out. So you have nothing to do, but you just wanna paint your face or even like if you're in school and you can't wear costumes to school. I remember in high school, we couldn't wear that much costumes because that's when things started getting really inappropriate. I just started painting their face. Like I would paint my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna just, just take some concealer and clean up the under eye. You just want to be careful that you don't get it into the white paint. So this inspired look, I'll just post the picture up here. I saw this on Pinterest and I thought this was pretty awesome. I usually see people have like the teeth all over. So I wanted to recreate it obviously, but make it kind of my own. So, I am a very colorful person, so I might add some color. If not, not a big deal, but I wanted to make it kind of glammy chic with some silver in it. Obviously, I didn't want to copy it, but I feel like this is just what it's already been done, and that's why I didn't want to do like a skeleton. But I feel like skeletons. You can always recreate them and make it your own. So it's not like everyone has the same one, you know? A black crayon. This crayon comes in a pack of two. I'm gonna take a black one and this is how I'm gonna map out my skull. So in the picture, she has this all black, obviously. So I'm just gonna draw my nose out a little bit. 
So her nose is completely black. So right now I'm just going to sketch everything out. And then I have like a V. This part right here doesn't have to be precise. So one can be bigger than the other. So I'm just gonna fill it in right now. But not completely, because I just wanna figure out where to go from here. So don't worry if it's not too black. I'm gonna make it darker in a bit. I'm just trying to map how I would want it to be. It's kind of tickles. Sorry, I'm just trying to really, and if you mess up, you could take a sponge and just go back in there. That's the beauty part of this. There's no incident, no accidents. You could just go back. So then going from here, she has this going like this, and this is really dark. We'll go back in there with a darker paint in a sec. I'm just really trying to map out these hollows. Okay. And then the same thing on this side. So it should look like this pretty much, pretty much, All right? And then going in there, I'm gonna take my black paint. So this is the fun part too. I think me doing this is all fun. Fun and games, I'm like sweating over here. So I'm gonna take my black paint and I'm gonna take a black, I mean, a brush like this. This is like a super dark paint. So I'm just gonna go over the black really quick. So going on the nose and as you see, I'm just patting it down because if I rub it, it's not going to be so pigment. And then over that, I'm going to put some black eyeshadow. So now to the eyes, we're gonna go back on the face. I'm just gonna work on the eyes a little bit because we need to get this going. So I'm gonna do black and gray eyeshadow. I want this to be very smoky and dark. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to take a fluffy brush like so and I'm just gonna grab the black shade which is this dark, 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 dark shade. So I'm just gonna grab that shade and just pack it all over the eye. And I'm going in the lightest pressure as possible because it can get really messed up really fast. And even though it's a Halloween look, I want the eyes to be a little glamorous. So I'm going really soft and gentle and if I need to add more, I can always add more. mess up you'd always take a wipe and just wipe it off black shadow I'm gonna take it all the way into the inner corner of the eye with the hollow sockets of the eye just going in there and then bringing this up as well To look perfect or precise you just want it to look deep and dark a smaller brush like this I'm gonna grab that same shadow and do the under eye to face the power of makeup palette I'm gonna grab this silver shade
just add mascara of course all right guys and this is the finished look a lot of fun doing it i think this is pretty awesome i wanted to do something different and recreate kind of this structure with something festive and colorful so I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. And I really like how this turned out. So yeah, this wraps up our video for today. Um, so happy Halloween, and thank you so much for watching, and until next time.